Hey everyone, Andy here. I'm at our uh, Able Cine LA showroom. Uh, today I'm checking out the uh, Teradex Serve Pro uh, and the Link. I actually have two Serve Pros here, which are both transmitting video from my uh, C700 and my Sony Venice uh, back into my iPad, right? So uh, if you don't know what the Serve Pro is, uh, it is a uh, video encoder that's designed to be on, on set on a camera. Uh, this tool takes an HDSDI or an HDMI feed from the camera uh, right uh, into the encoder and then we'll send it out over a wired or wireless network. Uh, in this case, I'm wirelessly transmitting it and receiving it here on my iPad. As you can see, there's a signal. Um, and this is uh, basically just a straight up normal iPad running the Viewer app. The Viewer app is a Teradek free application for iPad, iPhone, and now Android as well. Uh, I load it in there and, and, and really quickly we'll discover the uh, serve pros that are on my network and off I go. Uh, what I wanted to show you is how you can actually use this for multi-camera application as well. Uh, I could directly connect my iPad directly to this. I can set this guy up as an access point, basically just making its own network, join it, and then voila, one feed fed out. But if I want to do multi-camera, I can use uh, the Teradek link here uh, to get multi-camera on my iPad. How you do that is quite simple. Uh, I set my uh, Serp Pro up here uh, in, uh, into network of Wi-Fi and then infrastructure mode and I discover my link. Now the link uh, is essentially an onset uh, router, network router, uh, not unlike a wireless router you'd have at home. Uh, the difference being that it's uh, ruggedized, very powerful and battery operated. I have a, a, a battery in the back here, gold mount battery. Um, so basically I can run this on set all day uh, and give myself uh, a, a huge, a huge Wi-Fi network, powerful Wi-Fi network to join. Uh, in this case, I've, it's turned on, it's called Link, I've joined it here on the, um, on the uh, Serve Pro. By default it would be in access point mode, I've changed it to infrastructure, joined the network, I've done the same thing on that Serve Pro. Once I've done that, I basically go to my iPad here, go into my Wi-Fi settings, and join the link network as well, right? So join the network and then launch that viewer application and I start to get a video feed. Now, to see two cameras or more, you can hold this little button here and I can see the network, all the signals on my network. It actually says it has found two devices on the link network here and I can assign these guys to various uh, inputs. I've got the four quadrants of video I can do. I'm gonna go ahead and remove them all to show you how to assign them. Choose camera A, assign it to A, choose camera B, assign it to B. And once they're assigned, I can leave this menu here, hit done, and then I can either um, A, B it, A, B, like that, or I can do a split screen, like that. And again, I can do up to four at once. Each Serve Pro allows up to 10 devices to be connected to it. So, so you really could have four cameras streaming out to 10 different devices, an iPhone, an iPad, et cetera, et cetera, all, on the same, all at the same time. Uh, again, just very versatile. Uh, why would you use this versus a uh, Bolt? Well, uh, a Bolt uh, is extremely high quality, zero delay, uh, full, uh, full resolution, where the, where the Serve Pros here are intended to give you an encoded video stream uh, that we could easily stream onto this device. I don't need a, a battery, a receiver, I basically just have my iPad and I'm pretty good to go. Again, a little delay, but uh, I wouldn't, so I wouldn't give it to your uh, AC to pull focus, but pretty much anyone else on set can use it. Um, because we also get audio through, we can give it to many people to monitor you know, one or more uh, shots. Um, the Viewer app itself is also quite great because it has, it's a full featured tool, monitoring tool. If I double click on this signal here, I'll get back to my just A signal. Uh, and as you can see here, I have things like histogram, waveform, vector scope, uh, false color, uh, peaking, assist, uh, focus assist, etc. I also can load, I also turn on 3D LUTs here. This is actually a log signal. I can see I have a LUT, so I can put a 3D LUT on top of it, or actually dial in a CDL here, it's pretty awesome. Um, in the other tools, I can uh, put frame lines on, grab a still, store it if I want to, and overlay it over the image so you can have that for future reference. So if a, if a, a scripty or anyone else on site who wants to grab a still for future reference, they can do so here. Uh, and then also in the video menu here, you can uh, dial in the 
uh, quality of the video coming in. Now, um, the, d the default uh, will be of, of high quality, but you can lower that quality to get a lower delay, or if you just want to have, if you're having any issues with stuttering, etc. So you can really dial in your signal, but by default it works pretty darn well on most uh, modern iPads and other devices. So um, just like that, you're off to the races. Uh, I really, again, like this device for the application uh, of on-set multi-camera. We have a lot of rental clients here that use it for reality, documentary reality production, uh, so that many people on set can see multi-angles. But we also see it being used in conjunction with uh, a bolt or a zero delay wireless transmission uh, to have other people on a, a full set have access. So again, script supervisors, gaffers, etc., have the feed and they can get, get to work and not a lot of hardware requirements. If you compare, if you combine it with a bolt, let's say, uh, you could have a wireless back to Video Village and then Serve Pro sending out the signal throughout the set. Uh, again, just a huge range of application, and it's become sort of a, a go-to for many, many productions. So I really like this device. I like the link as well as a network device. You can actually extend the links out to many together to make a really wide Wi-Fi network, so you can certainly go far distances with that. Uh, again, just tons of application here. So uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.